Hey everyone, Fritz here. Are you looking for a punching bag at your house, but you don't have space or the structural integrity to have a heavy bag? Well, I'm here to tell you that the double end bag might just be the answer that you're looking for. So in today's video, we're gonna go over three rounds on the double end bag. And if you wanna go just straight to the drills, you can hit right to this time card in the video. But if you're wondering what a double end bag is, essentially it is like a speed bag. And in today's example, we're going to use a basketball hoop, but you can use anything like a ceiling hook so long as it's anchored into something sturdy. You don't wanna go straight into the drywall. And then you just anchor it down with some weights or a backpack, anything will do as long as you have it anchored down and have that elasticity to go back and forth. This is gonna be great for timing, rhythm, as well as defense, as you're gonna see in just a second. You don't really want to wail on it as you would a heavy bag. And the good thing too is a heavy bag, yes, you can really get in your shots and practice your power, but a double end bag is going to make sure that you're ready for a real life scenario because it can be moving at you. There's no way that in a real life scenario that someone's just going to let you wail on them all day long. So this is going to be great for you if you're just learning how to punch. We're going to hook this up to the basketball hoop and then we'll get started. So as you can see for our setup, what we have at the very bottom are just some padded mats, a 60 pound dumbbell to anchor in the double end bag. We coming up to see the bag itself, which is right about eye level when we squat in our fighter stance. And then we anchored it to the top of the rim over here. We didn't want to go towards the center of the basketball hoop because we're going to be interfering with the vertical bar there for space when it's swinging. If you have a ceiling hook, gonna be no problem. And this is gonna be very good for those of you who are using a ceiling hook because it's very low impact. This bag doesn't weigh anything at all. You just need a little bit of tension there. Three punches that we're gonna do today are going to be the jab, cross, and front hook. Starting off with our jab, all that it is is just the flick of the elbow and the wrist where we let out from the elbow and then turn our wrist. We don't wanna cock back and throw the jab. The jab is really meant to gauge distance and get us into a good rhythm. If you need that extra reach, you can take a step and then step back. The good thing about the jab is if you can touch them with the jab, for sure you can get them with the cross. Because what the cross you're going to do is you're going to start from the ground up, turn on the ball of your foot, flip your hips, and then throw the cross and lean forward into it a little bit. Look at how far I can come out to the bag on a jab versus a cross. The jab, I can barely get halfway through the glove. My cross, the glove is all the way through. And don't forget to keep your opposite hand up and protect your chin. The last punch that we're going to use today is the cross. This is another power shot because it's gonna be using it from the ground up. So if we're just looking at it from the ground up, you're going to turn on the ball of your front foot, flip your hips, and throw the punch at the top. So hook, hook, hook. So we've done three punches. We're gonna do three defensive techniques. The first one is just gonna be some simple head movement. So you hit it, you can go to the side. You hit it, you can go back. So the first defensive maneuver is going to be head movement. Just hit it, get it out of the way. Get it, get out of the way. The other defensive maneuver is going to be a duck as well as a bob and weave. So you could hit it, duck, but don't come straight up, hit it, duck, lean back at an angle, or just go straight off to an angle when you come back up. The last defensive maneuver, if I didn't emphasize it enough when we're going through our punches, is keep your hands up, because if you hit it, it comes back. You can defense yourself with your hands. If you're unable to move your head or duck out of the way, boom, keep your hands up, boom, 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 boom. So you can do a combination with keeping your hands up. You always wanna keep your hands up and protect your chin. If you wanna increase the intensity, especially when you're moving your legs and doing your footwork, you can put an elastic band around your thigh here as I have here. And they usually come in sets where they go from varying degrees of difficulty and I'll put a link for them down below. But I love using them for this type of exercise because it helps me move and then it also makes it a lot harder on me to bob and weave, come back up and pivot. Now that we're all brushed up on our punches and our dodges, we can start really laying into the bag. But if you're like me and you wanna hit the bag at the end and you're looking for a workout with no equipment at all, I'm gonna leave a video link for you 
right over here. So in round one, start very close. That way you can get your timing down with your jabs. When you get your timing down, throw in some of those crosses. So double jab, cross, double jab, cross, double jab, cross. Don't forget to move your head out the way. Double jab, cross, cross, cross. Try to go 10 straight. So 10 jabs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 crosses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Remember to keep that hand up. Let's do alternating. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Did you keep your hand up while you were doing those alternating? Let's try it one more time, okay? So alternating between jabs and crosses. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now that we're in a rhythm, we can start getting full extension on our punches. So instead of being so close to the bag, start spacing out. Get full extension, full flick of the wrist. Boom, double jab, cross, double jab, cross. Move out of the way, double jab, cross, double jab, cross, double, cross. Okay, and if you miss it, it's okay. We wanna work on our timing and our rhythm. This is exactly what we wanna do. Double jab, cross, let's do those same drills again. 10 on the jabs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. 10 on the crosses, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Alternating. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay? You in a good rhythm yet? Jab, jab, get your distance in, get your distance in. Move in, move out. When you can touch it, boom. Keep that hand up. Double jab. Cross. Keep the hand up, double jab, cross, double jab, cross, okay? Let's do alternating, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, the fun thing here with boxing is on the last 10 seconds of any round, what we're gonna wanna do is our alternating punches, and we wanna really ramp it up as fast as we can until the timer goes. So here we go, so 10 punches, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're at our last ten seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. Then we have a thirty-second rest. Twenty-seven is what we hit on this one right now. We're gonna see if we can go above and beyond in each single set. You ready? Now we're gonna start doing some more of those dodges that we talked about. So let's try a double jab, duck, double jab, duck, double jab, duck, double jab, duck, double jab, cross, slip, slip, double jab, cross, slip, slip, double, cross, slip, slip, faster. All right. Let's try a cross and a weave. So if you need to, stop the bag holding in place. So cross, weave, come back. Cross, weave. This is where if you have that band on your thigh, you're really going to feel it. Slip, slip, okay? Really playing with the head movement now. We're really moving the bag and working the bag now. Changing our angles. Okay. Slow jabbing, slow jabbing. Double jab, cross. One, two. Okay. Come up. Double jab, cross. Let's try a different combination. We've thrown all of our straight punches that we can now. Let's work in some hook and cross combinations. Let's just get our timing down very simply. Hook, cross, hook. Cross, hook, cross, hook, cross. Okay? Get your timing in, get your timing in. 
cook crops. If you missed, that's okay. Remember, this is meant to simulate real life scenarios in which when you're punching, you may miss every once in a while. Just bring that hand back. Keep those defenses up. Okay, ready? Let's go a little bit faster. Hook, cross, ooh, hook, cross, hook, cross. Duck, duck, jab, 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 double jab, cross. Let's try a double jab and a hook. Double jab, hook, ooh, double jab, hook, double jab, hook, double jab. Get it until you get it. Double jab and a hook. Got it. Double jab and a hook. Last 10 seconds. Here we go. Alternating. I forgot to count there. So, take your 30 second break. Shake it off. Everything that you got on this one. Jab, get your distance in. Get your distance in. Duck. Duck. Timing's right. Cross, boom. Cross, hook, cross. Cross, hook. Cross. Again. Cross, hook, cross. Cross, hook, cross. All right, time it again. Cross, hook, cross. Hand up. Cross, hook, cross. Hand up. Cross, hook. Ooh, that was my mistake. Let's go again. Cross, hook, cross. Try to really amp up the speed here. Double jab. Throw all the combinations you want now. You're warmed up, you've got your distance. Come in close. Work yourself out far. Work in your ducks. Double jab. Okay, hook, hook, double hook, double hook again, are you keeping your hands up, double hook, double jab, double jab, hook, one, two, hook, this one was tricky earlier, so let's go again, one, two, hook, again, one, two, hook, one, two, hook, one, two, hook, duck, 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 weave, cross, hook, cross, get out of the way, lean back on it, cross, hook, cross, boom, 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 lean back, take your chin, again, cross, hook, cross, jab, get your distance in, Coming towards the end of our third and final round. If you guys enjoyed this type of workout, let me know in the comment section below and we'll go the rest of the distance. We can go three through six, seven through nine, and 10 to 12. Last 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. This is a great way if you're on self quarantine still and you want to get in some bag work, but again, you can't support a heavy bag where you live. A double end bag is going to be really good. It's going to practice on those things that you can't get with a heavy bag. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. I'm gonna leave all the equipment that I use in this video down in the description below, and I'll see you in the next video.